I he picked up the one. gauntlet. So Team Liquid <laughs> threw it down. Yeah. <laughs> he picked it up. Let's see if he slaps him in the face with it or uh, if he's going to just get run through here. Here's Eva. Here comes Santora nice and early. Hover to top side for Jazuke. Should be fine since he warded top side. He's not quite. Oh, he's bad. The flash is going to be Corpus. Santorin's going to go under the tower. And first blood, it is indeed. Santorin. Yeah, he still has no flash. Kodaje also up here. Alfari also up here. So Jace going to stop. Someone's getting fact. Alfari going to flash in there. Igno has roamed up. That's going to move him away. But Igno with the flash Q is going to get two there. Now Alfari, Alfari now nice and low with Jazuke. He's going to finish it off as impact. TP's in to try and scoop oh. up onto Kodaje. He goes. <laughs> <laughs> definitely comical know. messages popping oh, wow. up. Also very good at soloing these drakes, but he's going to get some help from definitely an Igna. More as coverage than anything else, but EG this time will be the Look first. Look at this rotation. rotation. They've got they've got uh, Tactical heading here a little bit quicker than Deathly. Deathly is Jin, though, so he could open up with Ooh, all. Good spot. The Sweeper actually, I believe, found Igna, and he's so chunked already. Now Tactical going to flash in. He's going to get the kill as Team Liquid. Going to pop the Fates, call and keep going. Ragnarok has been used. Santorin low does get rooted by Deathly, who's going to start shooting. The Lantern is there. Santorin's going to go, but he has to find a <laughs> safe way out. Impact flashes in towards him, but he gets stunned and hooked, and that's Centaurin going to be cleaning up the kill. Now the rest of TL going to fight the remaining members of Evil Geniuses, but there's no follow-up just yet. But call JJ always on the hunt for another play. The play is going to be good. Spenskaren is going to get healed up by Deathly, but Tactical is going to rip out the spears and grab the next one. Is now Tactical is the one in trouble, but call JJ just keeps going. Another kill comes in as Jazuke does Chrono Shift out of there. Tactical does die as Core is now going to finally have to run away from the engagement, which hasn't felt like something he's needed to do all series long and a good play is not enough to protect him unfortunately as Deathly is going to put the final shot in. Igna doesn't want to steal it and Deathly will indeed grab the kill. He has to play way more defensively now. That's that's what you have to... Okay, Santorin. Base check despite the turbo chem tank. He's going to have to take the lantern out. Does get away. Good play as well to keep Igna out of the show but Santorin is going to be felled as GK goes over the wall with the blast gun and Cordae oh. low as well. No one's going to escape as two kills will go into the hands of Igna. He's not going to get anything back and Jazuke actually even chases him away from the mid lane. As you see there, EG pulling this one back. They've got two dragons Happened. up around Rift Herald. Now, though, mid lane focus. Jensen trying to bait a little bit um, while they just split the map. Bottom tower finished off very easily by B, so he's got to be very cautious about it. But you can see him already backing off from that outer turret, expecting the EG handoff. Yep, very responsible there for Alfari. Tactical, can't see anyone else right now. Well, except for Deathly, of course. But uh, he's going to keep moving this wave in. and should be able to take this, actually. Santorin also going to come down. Tower's going to go. Impact almost ready to flip into the ulti form. But Dezuke is roaming down again. Santorin now has to get out of there. Going to be chased on by Dezuke. Pops that rocket belt. But Santorin going to be able to best drop vision. But they're going to go for the play here. Core JJ going to be flipped in by Tactical. And now Impact's going to be killed there. Just such an easy pickup for Team Liquid. Who him for doing exactly that on TL's top side. Uh, same happens here on bottom side, but TL make the collapse good. They pick off the kill, and now Rift Herald activated in mid should just be taken down with the numbers advantage. Yeah, again, Tactical loading up the spears. Shelly going to get distracted mid lane. Here's the Ragnarok popped as Transcaran actually ate a hook, and now a death as Tactical just finishes him off alongside the Herald. He's going to get locked up there by Deathly. Tactical going to have to dance away, but he does indeed do so as Alfari has TP'd in. Now it's a 5v4 for Team Liquid with the Dragon up. They should be able to take all these objectives in the center of the map. Svenskaren is a Shelly stan. He was not going to let her go down alone. <laughs> he wanted to usher her up to the tower, but it's just so dangerous. Even as Olaf there hooked right in. I feel like, again, that same Team Liquid thing where Party time. build up into an avalanche. As Jazuke going to be picked up by Cole. Oh, into the ulti. Almost straight into the waiting arms with the flavor. The hook connects. Of course it does. It's Core JJ. He don't miss as Jazuke is going to get slammed by Alfari. Yep, you can see that rotation on the minimap coming 30 seconds ahead of time. Oh Looks like goodness. Svenskaren wants to make good on it, though. Igna here as well. How do you get out of this one? Kordo Day going to have to Houdini his way out. But Centaurin's fighting Igna. Definitely is here and going to put a stop to the Kordo Day Great Escape. But Centaurin still dancing around the skill shots. Maybe thinking about contesting with his blue buff because Alfari's here and he's pretty strong. Ignan does have ulti. The blue buff is going to be kept safe here by Sven Skarin, who will pick it up. Keep your eyes on the initiators. Ignar must be tracked at all times. Impact must be tracked at all times. Watch out for that teleport flank. That's how EG can try and bring this one back. The Baron's just getting blown up, though. No vision inside for EG. I think they're going to be too late. That thing has been left alone, and Azir is wailing on it. Cool, JJ. You're going to put the box down. They're going to have to finish the objective. Surely that's the call here. Is Jazuke's got a parallel convergence lined up. The Baron goes down to TL, but can they get out alive? The Lantern. 
Ascent. He's going to keep Tactical safe as Santoro flashes out, and Team Liquid going to get away with the steal as Jensen not even going to be taken out. As in fact, the Ragnarok will be committed there as Ignar's found the engage onto the front line. But Core JJ's picked up his fence going with the Ignite. Impact finds one only with the ulti, and that's not enough. Oh. The hooks continue to rain down. Dazuke going to get locked up as well, and Team Liquid are going to win it all. Three kills and the Baron. Thank you very much. In fact, it may be more as Alfari going to chase down Deathly, who flashes on top of the Blast Cone, but he's not, that's not enough to keep, keep safe. The Tactical is bye cut bye. off the pass. That's another, that's the last, and that's the Bud Light Aces. Team Liquid just collect everything. You can say that one again, pastry time, because this one just got blown out of the water. Team Liquid, a Bud Light Ace. Udyr doesn't even die at the end, not even close. Santorin's got the math on that tower shot. Finishing off this inhibitor turret easily. I think with the respawn timers, they're going to want to play it a little safe. Yeah, Azir, here uh, without any vision from EG, and they come to check it a little late. Smite goes in the favor of Team Liquid. That was just a nasty engage right there. Santorin, as the Udyr walks up, he's very willing to take that NAR ultimate. That's the only thing the entire team was worried about. That's why they were kiting back. So. Uh, now we just continue the bloodshed. Can't outrun the Udyr. Oh, maybe you can. In fact, maybe Impact's just a better target. Alfari going to lock him down as Santorin moves in for the Bear Stance kill. And Jensen, the one to claim the last tier. But a team effort, really, as Team Liquid get yet another kill. Their 13th of this game as they're looking to just smash down the bottom half of the map here. This bottom lane of the tower is not long for the world, Kobe. Look at look at uh, Jizuke up there on the mini map, trying to split push his little heart out. Good attempt, but there's no way they're gonna get anything done. Yeah, he's trying to push it with all he's got, but Team Liquid have Baron buff inside the base, and they're not gonna stop. Not at all. In fact, they're just gonna keep going here. It's a four v three right now for EG. Ignar starting off the initiation, but Core JJ just gonna make him pay for that one. I don't even think with the ulti he can really survive. His tactical's got the rend. Yes, he does. Gonna grab the kill, the tower down. His team Liquid still trying to fight it out here, but Impact, he's respawned. He's back with no rage. And the Baron Cannon is still hammering down that tower. His tactical's even getting aggressive. Now gonna get uh, the parallel converters happening. That was bad. It's a step too far. The shutdown happens for Deathly, but I don't know if they've got enough. Oh my goodness, that Gore Drinker. As Fence Garen stays alive for so much longer, but still not enough to actually do anything else. As Impact's gonna get thrown back by the Emperor's Divide. And Team Liquid is gonna keep collecting kills. EG, they have thrown themselves at the enemy in an attempt to keep the Nexus alive. But Kobe, I've got bad news. I don't think it's gonna work as this TP looks so bold. Jazuke, with a flank of a lifetime, is trying to keep his Nexus All alive. Right, Ignar. Good. They've opened it there. up. Definitely's getting poked. Someone's got to do something here. That hex flash isn't it. The combo is going to land onto Core JJ, but the hook finally misses on screen. And they're just going to take the Nexus. Jazuke just doesn't have anything. He's got no ulti, got no flashes. Team Liquid, see you later. Nexus number two is theirs. 2 0. Now for Team Liquid. Team Liquid, right there. What a big play at Baron. They